1956, all the remaining B B-29s were decommissioned, became property of the Navy, and were taken to China Lake to be used as ballistic targets. It just so happened that they missed Doc, and Doc survived and was, was out in the desert. Tony Mazzolini found the airplane, purchased it, drug it out of the desert, and then transported it to Wichita. I, I river the nose section of this B-29, and I'm, I'm very fortunate that these are the same rivets that I rivet. I never thought that we would ever get it done, but I was hoping we, we would, and I think it has come true now. of these folks out here uh, have, have been here since the airplane got here. They've dedicated their retirement and, and a lot of, of their lives, uh, over 300,000 volunteer hours on the airplane uh, to make this day possible. There are no words. Uh, this 15 years of just coming to a head right here. This, there's, it's, there's no words. I stood at the bedside of a dying man and promised him if I had an ounce of patriotism in my soul, I would do anything I could to help him finish his airplane. And today, his spirit, C.C. Briscoe, is sitting right up on that wing watching us. God bless America. We did it. We did it. Way to go, buddy. So this was a milestone that we've been looking forward to for 15 years. Uh, a lot of these folks out here uh, have, have been here since the airplane got here. They've dedicated their retirement and, and a lot of, of their lives, uh, over 300,000 volunteer hours on the airplane uh, to make this day possible. I can't describe it. It's, uh, it's a very uplifting feeling. I, 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 I can't even describe it. From the day that I first saw it in the condition that it was in in the Mojave Desert to today, it's, uh, it's like a dream come true, there's no doubt about it.